how to reduce the running cost of your hot tub. The first thing we're going to discuss is the location of your hot tub. The more sheltered your hot tub is, the less energy the pump's going to use trying to keep the water warm. So keeping the hot tub in a sheltered area will mean the hot tub pump will require less energy to maintain the temperature of the water, thus reducing your energy bill. The next point we're going to discuss is insulation and holding temperature of the water. There's a lot of different techniques to holding the temperature of the water. One common sense approach is that when you're not using a hot tub, make sure the lid, the cover, is fitted at all times to stop the heat from escaping from the hot tub. We also sell an inflatable lid energy saving cover that can be put into the water with then the cover put on top. And that inflatable lid has air in it, which again, gives better insulation properties holding the heat, again, reducing your bills. Having the floor mats is another method, again, offering more insulation. Another method is uh, we've seen quite popular in the hot tub world is wrapping your hot tub in some form of insulation like foil wrap which again holds the hot tub, insulates it very well. The downside of it is it doesn't look the most prettiest. This is why a new product, the hot tub thermal cover, is a great solution. The thermal cover is an additional layer that you place over the hot tub. It has special thermal properties to hold the heat the best, reducing your bills by up to 30%. The next points are when to have your hot tub on and off and what temperature should you have the hot tub at. This depends on your usage. So I'm gonna give you a simple guide. This is not 100% the right answer, but this is an average sensible guide for you to think about. If you're going to use your hot tub at least three times a week, do not turn on and off your hot tub. When you turn on your hot tub, you have to rebuild up the heat from scratch, and this consumes a lot of electricity, which costs you more. So if you keep turning it on and off, you're constantly having to reheat the hot tub and this increases your energy bill. You're better off if you're going to use it sort of three times a week. When you're using it, build it up to 38 to 40, depending on what temperature you like. And then when you finish, run it down to 30. Obviously you need to allow a few hours to build up temperature, but doing this is a sensible approach. If you're going to only use it like once or twice, let's just say once or twice over the weekend, the best approach would be on the Friday morning, turn it on, get the heat up for the Saturday, use it Saturday and Sunday, and then turn it off. The time of year and surrounding temperature is another factor on your energy bills. In the, there's the winter and there's the summer. Obviously the summer is a lot hotter than the winter. So if in the winter you run your hot tub, you're gonna require more electricity to maintain the temperature, meaning your electricity bill is going to cost more. Some people, decide that they want to turn off and store away their hot tub in winter because it does cost more. Some people decide that they enjoy the experience and keep it on. That's a consideration that's up to you. The one last obvious point is, am I getting the cheapest energy deal? And that's not for one for us to tell you. The simple way of doing that is going onto an energy comparison site like Money Supermarket and making sure you get the cheapest bill. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer it for you. If you like this video, please like it, share, and subscribe to our channel to see more videos.